so much to talk about in the news. Let's get right into it. During an interview yesterday, Bob Woodward, the veteran journalist and author of a new book detailing the chaos and insanity inside the Trump administration, concluded by saying that people need to wake up to what's going on in the White House. Wake up. We're awake, Bob. <laughs> Bob, we're awake. I haven't had a full night's sleep in two years. <laughs> now, Trump responded this morning with a tweet seemingly lashing out at Woodward. He wrote, the economy is so good. <laughs> Perhaps the best in our country's history. Remember, it's the economy, stupid. <laughs> that the Democrats are flailing and lying like crazy. Phony books, articles and TV. Hits like no other politician has had to endure and they are losing big. Very dishonest people. <laughs> What's fun about that tweet is you can actually feel his blood pressure rise <laughs> as it goes on. <laughs> so good. <laughs> So good. The, the only thing that tweet's missing at the beginning is, oh my god, you guys. <laughs> the economy is so good right now. Uh, in his tweet, President Trump wants you to know that the economy is strong right now, so he backs up his claim with all kinds of facts and figures. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is a man who uses four O's in so good. <laughs> Meanwhile, former President Barack Obama is back on the campaign trail trying to rally Democrats for the midterm election. And on Saturday, while at a stop in Anaheim, Obama reminisced about the time he was kicked out of Disneyland for smoking a cigarette. <laughs> God, don't you miss when the president's biggest scandal was like... <laughs> <laughs> I got asked to leave Disneyland once. Admit though, it's pretty badass. Obama was like, sure, go ahead, kick me out, kick me out of Disneyland. <laughs> I'll just come back as an animatronic figure in the Hall of Presidents and stay there forever. <laughs> um, Disney, uh, Disney's CEO responded to Obama in a tweet saying, smoking aside, Obama was welcome back at the park any time. Not surprisingly, President Trump retaliated by launching a drone strike on Splash Mountain. Um, <laughs> And we, and we had to tell you... You're laughing because it might be true. Um, <laughs> and we had to tell you about this. Recently, passengers on a United Airlines flight from Scotland to New Jersey got a bit of a shock when the pilot came out of the cockpit, changed out of his uniform and fell asleep in a first-class seat. <laughs> the only way this could have been more concerning for the passengers is if the pilot also had an emotional support dog. <laughs> Now, imagine, for, imagine if you were asleep when the pilot did that and then a couple of hours later you wake up and see a shirtless guy just walk into the cockpit and start <laughs> flying the plane. <laughs> now, what actually happened, the plane was under the control of three crew members and each was required to take a rest break during the long flight. In fact, we do the same thing here at this show. Reggie's asleep right now. <laughs> In other news, over the weekend, Philadelphia hosted its annual Philly Naked Bike Ride, where hundreds of cyclists ride through the city completely nude. Now, the city promotes this as a fun event. Here's my question about this. Fun for whom? <laughs> <laughs> you know who I feel bad for? Anyone on the back of one of those tandem bikes. <laughs> right. As you know, the Declaration of Independence was signed in Philadelphia. Now, no offence to the Founding Fathers, but this weekend's naked bike ride makes it pretty self-evident that all men are, in fact, not created <laughs> equal. <laughs> They're not... <laughs> uh, 
And finally, this is a crazy story. A couple in Florida was just arrested for selling drugs out of their mobile home after police noticed that they had constructed, and we're not making this up, a drive through window. <laughs> the only way this story could be more Florida is if the drive through was run by an alligator and his stripper girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, I, I think they could have been a little more discreet. Police got suspicious when they noticed this sign outside the mobile home. 